Tonight, the governor of California declaring a statewide emergency as those potentially historic winds fuel multiple wildfires. One of the newest erupting right there in Vallejo, north of San Francisco, burning up a hill threatening the homes you see, and families forced to evacuate with fire on both sides of the road. Homes and businesses have already been lost as firefighters battle to save the rest. ABC's Will Reef tonight on the scene. Tonight, a statewide emergency in California and two new fires igniting near the Carquinez Bridge northeast of San Francisco. Those homes are very much in danger right now. Residents with hoses defending their homes as crews rush in to fight the Glen Cove fire. Our Rob Marciano at the Sky Fire. Look how low he got. This is precision. These choppers have been coming in every five minutes. They do not want this fire to cross I-80. But the Glen Cove fire did. Drivers surrounded by blinding smoke enveloping the roadway. 80, uh, just past the toll plaza here, uh, is closed and they're turning traffic around. Two firefighters injured battling the blaze. I know y'all keep asking me for a curly hair routine, but I have to wait. I didn't use all the shampoo yet. I won't. T I use a shampoo bar, which is like a bar of soap. But I, I'll. I guess I'll give y'all where I get all my curly hair stuff from. I get everything from there. But just wanted to get on here. I hate doing my hair without a mirror. And look at this shit. It's already stuck. But I really just wanted to get on here. do my hair with y'all i did ass when i tell y'all i did ass woke up it's it's 10 43 right now i woke up at like nine something went in there brushed my teeth got in the shower washed my hair conditioned my hair got out and put a onesie right put some pajamas right back on <laughs> i forgot where i got this onesie from but um yeah i'm big chilling all day because yesterday y'all i had a long ass i had a long ass fucking day y'all if y'all have me on instagram y'all already fucking know but i know i told y'all i was gonna vlog yesterday but it was too much going on shit we almost had to evacuate y'all these fires these fires are getting out of hand for real and it's quite scary as fuck yesterday uh, so i'm gonna give y'all the rundown of what happened i might put some little clips in i don't know if you and if you didn't know yesterday northern california had strong winds like they said hurricane winds and so when i woke up yesterday y'all i woke up at two o'clock in the morning yesterday y'all because my motherfucking window i left my window open because i got i can't sleep unless i'm cold i don't know why i sleep better when it's when i'm cold so <laughs> i have a motherfucking window open and the winds was so fucking strong, y'all. I got scared as fuck. I thought it was a tornado outside. Cause they just gave a tornado. Y'all know they just gave a fucking tornado warning a fucking couple of weeks ago. Probably a month ago. So I was fucking terrified. I was scared to look out the motherfucking window. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck is all that damn noise? I didn't even want to fucking move. I'm just sitting there like... So I was trying to force myself to go back to sleep. I went back to sleep. Woke up to my mom telling my brother to calm down. La, la, la. I'm trying to ear hustle. I'm like, what the hell are they in there talking about? I'm just listening like, my mom and my grandma is the only ones that live in Sacramento. All my other family is in the Bay Area. My mom tried to move us out to get better education or whatever. I don't know. So me, my mom, my brother, and my sister, my grandma is the only ones that stay in Sacramento. The majority of y'all know that Vallejo was on fire. Vallejo had a Big ass fire yesterday. I was born in Vallejo, if you didn't know. The fire had reached the bridge. The grass under the bridge caught on fire, but the bridge did not catch on fire because it's made of, it wasn't made of wood. So if, if, if that shit was made of wood, it would have caught on fire and it would have been done for. Just like back in the day when that San Francisco bridge collapsed in the earthquake, it would have been done for. But it didn't. But it was like hella, I put a picture right here, it was hella smoke covering the bridge, which they closed the bridge off. And my brother, he works night shift, so he was on his way home, but he couldn't, he couldn't get home. He goes to work in Richmond, but he lives in Phileo. So he couldn't get home, he, which means he had to backtrack 
take a different bridge. He had to turn around and go through the Benicia Bridge. And as I said, the winds were so strong yesterday that it was blowing people's cars. So he was switched, the wind was blowing him from lane to lane. So he's sitting there panicking and he has asthma. So he, all that smoke, he couldn't fucking breathe. So my mom was trying to tell him to calm him down. When I, when I heard him on the phone, my mom was trying to calm him down. So he was like panicking. Just think about it, y'all. Being on the bridge, the wind blowing you from lane to lane on a bridge over water, and all you see around you is fire. Bitch, you look like you on your way to motherfucking hell. <laughs> hell no. I would have been terrified too. So he calling everybody. And mind you, he it's hella early in the morning, so nobody was up. My mom was only up because the wind woke her up, just like it woke me up. Everybody was fucking asleep. Nobody knew what the fuck was going on but him. Calling, trying to get a hold of everybody. My mom answered and he was, she was trying to calm him down. My mom was talking to him on this whole way to the house. And I guess he hung up with my mom and called. His girlfriend was like, um, leave work. She, I guess she worked night shift too, I don't know. He was like, leave right now. We leaving, we packing up, blah, blah, blah. So she left work, she left with her work. He's in the whole night. She was, she was like, I probably lost my job, but I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Cause they was finna evacuate. And my mom told them to pack up all their shit, get all their important papers and shit like that. Everything they want to keep, hurry up. Pack that shit up and get in the car. They got their little dogs, got them up in the car, and they was finna evacuate to Fairfield, but Fairfield's power is out. So he didn't want to go there because they power out. I mean, they could be affected too, you feel me? So they hopped on the road and came all the way to Sacramento. Mind you, after my mom got off the phone with him, we didn't even know he was on his way to Sacramento. While they was packing up, we was on our way to Walmart. <laughs> and we was big chilling like, they coming up here, they cool or whatever. <laughs> we was big chilling like they coming up here, they finna be safe. <laughs> like everybody finna be safe, you feel me? Then while we was in Walmart, my sister called and asked us if our power was out. So my mom was sitting there like, uh-uh, Jelana ain't call. My brother ain't call and say the power was out. <laughs> Mind you, his phone only worked when, it, when he got, his iPhone only worked when he got Wi-Fi, so he really couldn't even call us if the power was out. <laughs> so come to find out, our power was out, but it was only out for an hour and 30 minutes. So my mom called him, called my brother, and told him the power was out. We didn't know why the power was out. We thought the wind was so strong that it knocked something down. Let me show y'all the video when I was standing by the uh, door at Walmart getting blown away. I almost fell in the whole nine. We didn't know what the fuck was going on, why the power was out. We was just trying to hurry up and get, we was trying to hurry up in Walmart and get all our shit. But we still didn't know um, if our power was out or not. We buy ice cream and shit, knowing that shit was gonna be melted. <laughs> so, I'm gonna just put my hair in a little bit. Cause all I'm doing is chilling all day. Well, as this is going on, I'm posting on Instagram. I'm like, do y'all want some natural disaster vlogs? I'm like, this shit right here is fucking crazy. My mom was like, we gotta do better than this because if we gotta start keeping cash on us because if the power go out we can't use atm and then we gotta make sure our gas takes is full because if we ain't got no gas we can't go nowhere <laughs> we gotta keep canned food because if the power out we can't make shit <laughs> oh my god we learned the hard way yesterday y'all well, we was trying to rush in walmart before they before they got to our house because my brother he be on the game he don't be listening to the door or whatever so we was trying to hurry up and get home so we cashing out at Walmart, checking out at Walmart, do 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 do, card in, card out, get the car. And as we're driving, as they are on their way to our house and we are on our way to our house, we going up the hill, going up the freeway, it's like a little hill thing. Once we get to the top, smoke. Every motherfucker wear it. I buy fire, Del Paso Road, low distance. So I find one fire. So I need nothing going on. This is this is a shame. Why can't you come up here and see these this shit up here? You can this fire up here too. We're gonna have to go to LA. Should we can't get there if Highway Five on fire? <laughs> Smoke, flames, every motherfucker wear. A fire broke out on I-5 freeway, bitch. 
<laughs> I'm laughing now because it's over with, but that shit was not funny yesterday. That shit was fucking wild. Right, so they then evacuated all the way to us. Might not know. Vallejo is like an hour and 30 minute drive to Sacramento. <laughs> so they then drove all the way up here. And now there's a fire here. So now we're fucking stuck. <laughs> So my brother, once my brother got here, he was mad. He was like, damn, I didn't drove all the way up here. And now there's a fire here. Y'all ain't worried about that. So the, the fire was real close to us, y'all. It was on I-5. Um, so we could smell it. We see all the smoke or whatever. So we had to close all the doors or whatever. Bring the baby in. Yeah, so we had a house full of people. It was like, what, 10 of us? It was like 10 adults, four kids, three dogs. <laughs> we was all squished in here but the i5 freeway is closer to my sister's house so she almost had to evacuate to our house too it was going to be what five dogs <laughs> in the motherfucking house mom was like fuck a house full of people we could have a house full of dogs <laughs> she was hella bad my freeway is closer to my sister's house and it's closer to my uh grandma's house my grandma she ain't got no car or nothing so she she was stuck over there with the fire like we couldn't help her so she was gonna have to count on her friends we couldn't get to her so we was all panicking like what the fuck we gonna do my brother over there smoking hello my brother was smoked about 16 blunts <laughs> um, trying to calm himself down he took a shot everybody was trying to make him calm down because he was ready to leave again i'm texting my sister on my dad's side i'm texting my um, cousins, so I'm trying to let them know, like, if people in California need to realize you cannot wait until it gets close to you to decide that you want to leave. And then imagine the fire getting hella close to y'all and everybody outside running around trying to throw shit in the car while the fire's this fucking close to you and y'all trying to hurry up and leave now and then y'all go hit traffic with all the other people exaggerating the shit too? Like, bitch, you gonna be stuck there with the fucking fire. Leave ahead of time. Like, that's, that's dumb you feel me y'all gotta leave be smart and leave ahead of time you feel me but yeah my sister she didn't see no fire she didn't see no flames or whatever so she wasn't finna evacuate but my brother we seen all the fire we smelt that shit we seen all the smoke passing through the window passing by the window and shit so my brother he was finna, he was ready to leave again he was like i'm finna i'm down there finna drive to reno or vegas but auburn Auburn, California has fire, so we can't even get, we couldn't have even got to, gotten to get to Reno or Vegas because we had to go through Auburn to get there. And there's fires in Auburn, so, so my brother was like, shit, what's at the airport? I-5, the I-5 freeway is the only way to get to the Sacramento airport. <laughs> that shit is fucking crazy. So therefore, if they didn't get that fire controlled on the I-5 freeway, we would have been trapped. We can't get to the airport. We can't get to no other city. I-5 is the only way to get to Stockton, Manteca or something. And Auburn, California is the only way to get to Reno or Vegas. Basically, I-5 is the only way to get to the airport. It's the only way to get to Stockton or um, Manteca or something that way. And... Auburn is the only way to get to Reno or Vegas. The only option we would have had is to go back towards Vallejo. So we, at this point, we just praying and panicking, taking shots to calm everybody down. <laughs> like that, yesterday was the craziest fucking day ever. What the fuck are we supposed to do? That's why, if your parents smoke cigarettes, tell their ass to stop throwing the motherfucking cigarettes out the motherfucking window, starting all the motherfucking fires. You fucking dumbass, you jackass. <laughs> Like, damn, but eventually they got the fire controlled. But they both, they got both the fires controlled, controlled in Sacramento and Vallejo. So, so, yeah, but the freeway was still closed till about 5 o'clock. And the winds went down at 6 o'clock, so everything turned out to be okay. And thank you to everybody that actually checked up on me and shit, because that shit was fucking wild. I know last time y'all was in my comments and my DM telling me I hope you're okay, asking me if I was okay. Because last time... The power had went out to, um, they turned everybody's power off to prevent the fires, but PG&E turned that shit back on, which caused the Vallejo fire. Last time when y'all was asking me, they, my power, our power didn't cut off because Sacramento has smud. I live in Sacramento with my mom right now, so, yeah. Sacramento has smud, so, 
our our power didn't get cut off. It's weird because my dad, he's in, he's close to Sacramento. His power was off for like a week. And then when they turn, finally turned the power back on, they couldn't use, the phones was broke so he couldn't call nobody, but yeah. Smud's power went out this time. Um. So yeah, thank y'all to everybody that checked up on me. Um, I'm perfectly fine. Now, <laughs> I was tripping yesterday, but, um, yeah, I see y'all appreciate it. Um, right now, Vallejo, they cleared the evacuation, lifted the evacuation in, in Vallejo, but it's like, but they can't, now they can't use water. But now they gotta limit their water use, so they can't really flush the toilet or shit like that. Wouldn't, I wouldn't want to live like that. Shit, I would have stayed in Sacramento, bro. <laughs> I would have stayed my ass in Sacramento. <laughs> they went home. I thought they was going to have to spend the night. I'm like, damn, why is that? I'm going to have all these kids in my room. I just sound like immaturity, y'all. My brother, girlfriend, daughter, she's in middle school. And she she just be too immature for me. Like, I don't be, we want her around me. She play too. Like, I don't like that. I don't like, I don't like immaturity at all, y'all. So, if somebody ever told you you childish, don't even talk to me. Because I'm going to tell you about your motherfucking self. <laughs> You gonna have to put on your big, your big girl, your big boy pants around me, cause I do not like immaturity at all. This side is fucking with me, and I can't barely tell if it's late or not. I can't really tell if it's late or not, cause the screen and my mirror is behind the camera. So, if I look at how that's mess right now, I'm fix it. Up. I'm gonna fix it off camera, so don't come for me. But yeah, y'all, that's basically what happened yesterday. I'm like, make sure my grandpa, last time my grandpa had me fucking rolling. <laughs> I was trying to call my grandpa yesterday to make sure he was up and he knew what the fuck was going on in case somebody had to evacuate to his house. But last time when y'all was telling me, asking me if I was okay because they cut the power out or whatever, his ass was the only one that did not know the power was going out. I was trying to call him and shit. I guess he be, his phone, he be letting his phone die because he don't like, he doesn't like electronics. So he be letting his phone die and shit. So he could have charged his phone or whatever. So I'm over here trying to call him to see if he if his lights was back on or whatever. He didn't call me back. He was like, man. I said, Grandpa, your power back on? He said, oh, so everybody knew. So everybody knew the motherfucker power was out with me. <laughs> I said, Grandpa, you all told, you be watching the news any other time. <laughs> he said, man, my motherfucker shit cut off about 12 o'clock last night. <laughs> I was fucking rolling. He said, man. I know you was sitting there like, so, so everybody knew the motherfucker power was out with me. <laughs> done with him y'all be telling me to stop recording it for somebody to make a meme out of it that shit was hella funny so, so everybody knew the motherfucking power was out with me <laughs> i said grandpa you watch the news every other time he said man i ain't seen no shit about no motherfucking pg and cut off <laughs> <laughs> oh my god and then one time i was supposed to go to his house and, and spend the night but it was a tornado warning so i had to stay in, we had to stay inside and his ass was like, man, why you ain't come? I thought you was coming over last night. I said, Grandpa, you ain't watching the news. It was a tornado warning. He said, oh, no, I ain't seen nothing about that, man. Then he changed his shirt. He said, oh, here with that shit right here. <laughs> he be having me rolling, y'all. I be having to record him so I can look back at it. Because, you know, once they gone, that's your only memories. You feel me? So, I I really, y'all be asking me what got me into YouTube. I always, I've always done YouTube, y'all. Like, I used to record, um... Back in elementary school, I used to do videos in elementary school, but I didn't take it serious. Like, I was really into dance. I was really into dance back then. I'm not the little shit y'all be doing nowadays. So, I thought that was all YouTube was. Like, I didn't know anything about YouTube, for real. Like, how I do now. Like, I didn't know there was pranks on YouTube. I didn't know anything like that. I just knew music videos and, like, dance videos. So that was all I watched. I didn't, and you know, once you watch something, that's all you see on your homepage or whatever, like requested videos to watch for you to watch. So all I was, was on there was dance videos and shit. Like that's all I watched. I didn't know nothing else about it. Like all I did was dance. So I think, but I guess my brother, he has to be watching DDG or something because one day one of DDG skits popped up and one of the girls had like red hair or something. So that was back in like middle school or my freshman year or something and that's when I started watching DDG cause I, I watched that video so that's when I started watching DDG and I learned all the shit that people be doing on YouTube and I'm like oh shit 
what, what, what the fuck they start doing this? <laughs> like, what the fuck? I should have started. I was, I'd be hella mad when I think about that shit too. Because I was like, I, my school vlogs, bitch. Bitch. <laughs> I would have, I would be up there already. I would be, bitch, I would have about 7 million followers right now. If I did the fucking school vlogs, bitch. I'd be hella mad thinking about that. Like, damn, I would have hella memories too. Especially with Levi Crip ass begging on Levi. Y'all, me and Sierra used to beg on Levi every day, but he used to, one time he choked the shit out my ass. But... I did not like people in high school, y'all. Levi was probably the only nigga I was nice to. Levi and D-Lo. Levi and D-Lo was the only niggas I was nice to, y'all. I, was, I wasn't even nice to D-Lo at first either because he hung with some niggas I didn't like, so I treated him like I treated them, which I shouldn't have done. But yeah. I said to myself, I said to myself all my high school years, but like to myself, myself, I didn't speak to nobody at all. That was all freshman year. And all the niggas was coming at me and shit because they didn't know. Like so many niggas was trying to talk to me, y'all. I felt like there was a fucking bet going on. <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I was gonna sit out of class. I was telling the teacher to shut up. Especially with the Baker big ass. His stupid ass. <laughs> that was when California was in the drought back then. His stupid ass, sweating up a motherfucking storm, scared of his fucking students. <laughs> like, nigga, how you sit up there in the front of the classroom scared of your fucking students? And all he did was come, all he did was call on me and, um, Ashley and Alyssa. Like, me used to be like, we, I actually sat there, I was like, you don't see, there's 30 students in here, you keep calling on me? Like, come on now. <laughs> there's 30 fucking students in here, you call, you call on us three. Like, nigga, what the hell? How these, how these other motherfuckers solid ass motherfuckers read? Shit. And Mr. Champion, I keep waiting to do the story time Mr. Champion class. It went down in there. We were supposed to do that. We were supposed to do that story time on my birthday. We were supposed to do that story time on my birthday, but one of my friends got a little... Uh, my, one of my friends is pregnant, so she didn't come because she was throwing up. But we didn't do that story time, so when we link up again, we'll do that story time for y'all. That shit, it went down in that motherfucker there, bitch. <laughs> That was a crazy junior year was the craziest fucking year ever, bro. Yeah. But y'all, that's the end of this video. I hope I covered everything. I didn't forget anything. My hair, I gotta go fix my hair because I really can't see this side. But like how to subscribe to my video in a cool minute in like an hour or two. So stay up. Stay look stay on the lookout for that. But that's in this video, y'all. Like how to subscribe. And until next time, little Jayla. Got it? Got it? Got a blast! Okay. I swear to God, my life like a movie. Hey, stop talking like you knew me. Bitch, you don't know me. Bitch, we ain't homies. And I got niggas still shooting like Ginobili. Hey, bitch, I'm a ball like I'm Kobe.